One of my tasks this year was to reimagine the signature programs and create a STEAM-based immersion program which we've coined the Innovation Summit. We're getting a range of different roles that you would see inside of a theatre with the backstage crew, with the devisers, directors, writers and piecing them all together. Every boy is getting a chance to work in all of these different fields. We need to like make a set design. The actors are going to be using them for events, or like fighting the final boss. And the boys have been set a challenge where they're preparing for a job interview, where they're having to prepare a game. The key word for the, the game is sustainability. We're using Godot and we're doing GD script. We have been combining wearable art with electronics and upcycled fashion. The boys are really aware of the environmental issues and so they're trying to capture that when they bring their two garments together. We've been uh, working in partners, exploring this new software called Mix. We've been given a set of songs to mix them together and create our own beats. We said go and experiment and then we said you're going to do a presentation in front of the class. What the students have got to do is come up with five physical test batteries. Their goal at the outcome of this is create a pitch for the 2032 Brisbane Olympic Games. We started with Earth and thought about our air quality here on Earth and we've now transferred that to what that looks like if we were to live on Mars. We've got architects who actually help them draw their buildings, their livable environments for Mars. Cormac here is making the body of the car using five strips which will go fold around. The program is called Speed Racer. It touches on the engineering and design uh, and technology strands of STEAM. They are hands-on, they are engaged. There is not one of them standing back, sitting kind of off to the side. They are in there. The boys identify an area of need somewhere in the world that can be solved by robots. Look, I can see on their faces already that it's a success. The boys are having such a great time. My highlight is being able to build them and design them. Basically, we're getting our drone license so we can fly the drones and operate them. All of these different obstacles that the boys had to overcome really simulate what the real SES drone pilots need to operate with.